Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole. I'm so excited about today's video. I am sharing with you some newer releases from some of my favorite Korean skincare brands. Oh, you all have been asking me so much about these. We are finally doing them today. The new Eason Tree Yam Collection and the new Beauty of Joseon Red Bean Collection. We're going to be using these products in a PM skincare routine tonight, a PM post-holiday recovery routine tonight. I need it. I need it. I did purchase the Eason Tree Yam Root Collection. I thought about making this video my K-Beauty haul from Black Friday, but to be honest with you, we're just going to cover everything in time. I did buy a whole bunch of Numbuzen, Numbuzen products that we'll be reviewing on this channel in the next few months, uh, some other J-Beauty, etc. We're going to haul that later and just try this on today. And also, I did receive the Red Bean products through Stylevana. I will have these products linked in the description box below. Feel free to also use my Stylevana discount code. And I am so sorry, but we have to have some channel updates. So no video this Friday because January 1st is officially the start date of the Alta Love Your Skin event. And some of you already know exactly what this means for this channel. Every Saturday, the day before the upcoming week in the sale, we will cover everything in it. I think it, it probably is my favorite Alta event because it's all skincare and there's a lot of K-beauty this time. Oh my goodness, it looks so exciting and we still don't even have the full list. Because of this news, I do have an Access Y review for you all, but it will be coming to the channel next week. It's in two parts. I tried to make it one, but it was better in two parts. I'm also really surprised by how well that brand went for me. And one more thing, the wonderful Pinsmith gave this channel the absolute sweetest shout out. Oh my goodness. So hello to those of you who are new to this channel. Oh gosh, her video, I'll link it in the description box below as well. It is just so, so sweet, so thoughtful. She mentions a bunch of creators. Check it out, check it out. You don't want to miss it. I saw that video on Christmas Eve and I was over here going, this is the best Christmas Eve gift ever. Oh my goodness. Without further ado, let's get into tonight's PM skincare routine. How was everyone's holidays? How were they? Mine were great. They were wonderful. Absolutely love getting the time to spend with family. Floored that my skin still looks good. I have this expectation that, you know, I'll go into the holidays, I'll have a great time, but then I will have a ton of breakouts. It's been the story for a decade. It's, it's, it's just been how it goes. I didn't this time. What am I doing right? People with acne know. Y'all know. You know. But oh my gosh, my skin is so dry. It, it is so dry. We've been running the heat, what feels like nonstop. It was, I think, 29 degrees here, which is just unheard of. Some of y'all are watching from the north going, okay, okay, do you know what our temperatures were yet? No, it was, it was cold for everybody. And uh, yeah, I'm really dried out. Oh my goodness. So I was going to do an adapalene night. We're not going to do that. We're just going to take things easy tonight. I'll throw in a little bit of LED therapy, just a, an easy going routine. Let's get into it. The Eason Tree Gam Root Vegan Milk Cleanser. This was so different from what I expected. So it's a cream cleanser. Alice, I make messes everywhere I go. Cream cleanser, right? Looks like it will be maybe similar to the Seoris, right? Nope, nope, no, 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 very different. The first time I went to use this, I put it on my skin and I was thinking, oh wow, this feels kind of like a light moisturizer, which is really different from most cream cleansers. Most cream cleansers kind of feel heavy. They feel more like the heavy, moisturizers that dry skin types love. This one is light, what? And the strangest part of this, the absolute strangest part of this cleanser is that it almost feels like it sinks into my skin. It's so bizarre. This is a zero foaming effect cleanser. If you are somebody who worries that your skin might not feel clean enough after your cleanser, I don't know if you'll like this one, but I don't worry about that at all. I'm worried about my cleansers being too stripping the whole dry skin thing. What? It even looks like I've put a moisturizer on, doesn't it? I'm gonna go rinse. It's just so, it's just so strict. It's so strange. While I was just rinsing, my Seoris was staring at me saying, why don't you give the people a comparison? So let me do that. All right, Seoris. Acentry, do you, can you see how different that is? Can you see? <laughs> 
Okay, at this point I'm starting to think it's not just me. There's a kind of stringiness to this yam root cleanser that is just really contributing to me getting it absolutely everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, you, I think you can, you can see my point. You can see what I'm trying to show you. The yam root cleanser, this one, is so light. And it almost feels like it leaves your skin actually hydrated, which is kind of the exact opposite of what a cleanser does. I feel like I've never actually encountered a truly hydrating cleanser, but this might be the exception because I've also never encountered a cleanser that feels like it sinks into my skin. It is utterly wild. Okay, let's move on to this Beauty of Joseon Red Bean Refreshing Pore Mask. So this collection is actually made with oily skin types in mind. I wasn't sure if I would like it. I'm shocked. I'm floored, I've tried this mask, and I actually like it. It is not too dry. How does Beauty of Joseon just never come out with a fail? How is that possible? There's even a cute little scoop in this box, but I am going to use a little mask applicator here. Who is this from? Oh, this was an, I think this was an Exuviance gift with purchase. Somebody asked me recently what I do to enjoy my skincare routine more, and I think that's such a good question. Uh, I don't know if my answer will be helpful because what I do is an added pampering step here and there, you know, adding this brush in, just kind of spending more time on my routine. I really enjoy my skincare routine. I bought an entire set of skincare brushes so I could have even more fun with my skincare routine. So I don't really know if I'm the right person to answer how to get enjoyment from your routine if you're not enjoying it. Uh, but I can tell you that I really do enjoy all of these things. The masking, the using the devices, I love it. But you know what I will say? Don't feel like you have to enjoy your skincare routine. You know, we're all different. We all like different things. And yet skincare is something that really does benefit everyone, even if you don't enjoy it. So it's okay to just kind of get through it so you can have the benefits for your skin. I think a good tip though might be to look into more of the multitasking kind of products as opposed to, you know, the brands where you use, you mix and match a whole bunch of products. Yeah, I think that actually is the best tip I can come up with is to, to look for more of those products and less of the, you know, the people who want to spend 20 minutes on their skincare routine. Avoid those products and look for the products that say they're all in one. What do you all think of that? I get some really, really great advice in my comment section, some great advice. So we have the mask applied. Are you able to see that it's actually, it's not too drying. It's got that kind of thin texture to it that typically works for everybody. I'm so glad. I was so worried I wasn't going to like the Red Bean collection and how could I possibly have lived in Louisiana for as long as I did and not like something that is Red Beans? It would just be unforgivable. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this on for 10 to 15 minutes. I'll show you what it looks like right before I rinse it off and then I will come back to you. As promised, I'm back. Look at this. Look, you can still move it. It's not a fully drying clay mask. It's amazing. I don't know how they did it. Okay, I'm gonna go rinse. I'm back. My skin feels amazing. It is not hard to remove that mask, which I really appreciate. It gives a little bit of a, a gentle exfoliation as you're rinsing. It is, it's really well done. By the way, if you're new to this channel, this video is probably going to involve a lot of raving because true story, these are my top two favorite brands. Not just saying that, they're actually my favorite brands because they have so many hits and very few misses. Do we, do we really have any from these? I, anyway, let's move on. I have this little cotton round in my hand because we're gonna move on to the Yam Root Vegan Milk Toner. And this is a very different toner from I think what I expected in a good way. In a good way, I was expecting kind of a, a milky toner like the Dr. Suvercal. Did you just, can you see that it's dripping through my hand? I'm just making such a mess here tonight. Oh my goodness. But no, as you saw, it's actually kind of watery. And yet, can you see the color? Can you see that it is kind of milky in appearance? I feel like if you want to love the Dr. Suvercal more, but it's been something where you haven't really known where to place it in your routine, you might really like this toner. 
because it's a perfect in-between. It's a lot more than a watery toner, and yet it's nowhere near the viscosity and the moisturizing sensation of products like the Dr. Suricle, the Laneige Cream Skin. And by the way, this is where I really start paying attention to ingredients because we are now into the Levon products category. Cleansers, even masks, I'm a little bit different with my approach to those. So with this one, you are getting that yam extract. That's gaining popularity as a, a humectant ingredient and a so-called alternative to hyaluronic acid or other humectants rich in antioxidants. I think that, again, what I think this is really good for is if you have tried those thick moisturizing toners and they've just been too much. It's been a little too much, but you still want that, you know, barrier supporting kind of emollient toner. This is wonderful and different. And, and, and you know I love different. The time has come for a little bit of LED therapy. So you gotta just take me seriously for a moment. The reason I'm doing this immediately after my toner is because that toner is rich in antioxidants, which may help to neutralize any negative effects from red light. Not that there's a lot, just kind of as a precaution. That's the whole idea behind green tea as well, and I've just started doing it with whatever toners I have that are antioxidant rich. Okay, I'm, I'll be right back. And we're done with LED. I know some people don't like the three minute masks because they worry it's not long enough, but it does have to do with more than just the time that you're using LEDs for. It has to do with their energy output as well. Anyway, three minutes seems to be enough. I'm very happy with my LEDs. Very, very happy with them. We've got a serum to do next and I haven't actually opened this one, but I think this is the same one that I am using. This is the Beauty of Joseon Revive Serum. So, Beauty of Joseon did reformulate, put in the good way, in a very grand contrast to what I was explaining in my most disappointing products, they actually renamed the product. Way to make it clear, you know? It's no longer the Repair Serum, now it's the Revive Serum. I feel like otherwise, it's not too different. They've really just added in, it seems some, Mushroom extract, they've disclosed the amount of Panax ginseng in here. Otherwise, very similar, same principle of ginseng and snail mucin, which happen to be two of my favorite ingredients. Now, keep in mind that this doesn't have the ginsenicide. Somebody somewhere commented about Compound K and Suisu, and yeah, I absolutely do believe that uh, you know, there's there's something to those, but I think that this is such a good intro to ginseng. And also, you know, no matter how great Compound K is, some people are not going to be able to afford it. It includes me, okay? Including me. I can't afford, I cannot afford Suisu's full-size products. But you know what I figured out? On the Stylevana, you know how they send out that 50% off email so selection? If you click through that, they actually sometimes offer this amazing sampler kit of Suisu products for $10. For, are you kidding me? I would say keep an eye out for that if you want to try some Suisu, but again, you know, consistency is huge. It's huge. So if this is the right price point for you, it will still give you results. Great product, usually about $10 for the full size on the Stylevana website or less. I've seen it for less. Let's move on to the Beauty of Joseon Red Bean Water Gel. This is the product I was the most skeptical of out of everything. I just did not think I would like this because it is a gel and I am someone with dry skin. But I'll tell you what, it's Beauty of Joseon and I don't know how they do it, but they just always come out with really well formulated products. Now, if you do have my exact skin type, I don't know if you necessarily need to grab this. I mean, I don't think it's gonna be enough as a moisturizer, but here's the thing. I actually really like using this as a first moisturizer because check out, just check out these ingredients. What, ha, look at these ingredients. Panthenol, allantoin, beta-glucan, look at all the peptides. SH oligopeptide 1, are you kidding me? This has EGF in it. All of those amino acids and the feel on your skin is so unique. It's so unique. There's almost uh, uh, a, a very, I think it's just that it's a very hydrating sensation. It is just, again, again, another really unique product that I just absolutely didn't expect to like, but here we are. 
44.1% red bean extract. The idea behind using red beans is that they are, of course, rich in antioxidants, also a natural source of saponins. And we're on the final step. We are going to use the Eastentry Yam Root Vegan Milk Cream. Oh, let's just look at these ingredients. Just, it's another work of art. And have a look at the texture of this one. Oh. I've wanted my whole life to recreate the moisturizer that looks like it's praying. Is that close? Is it close? It kind of is. Do you see it? Do you see? It's like, it's like cloud painting. Now watch as I apply this. It's a gorgeous, nourishing, beautiful, cosmetically elegant moisturizer. Just, it's two brands. I don't. I don't know how they do it. As if that's all the moisturizer I'm gonna use though. Anyway, we're gonna load up because like I said, my skin needs some extra moisture and I feel like this routine is just perfect for delivering it. I just feel like I'm so close to being one of those old herbal essences commercials with my skincare. You see what I'm talking about? I just really love doing my skincare routine. I love, I love it. I'm gonna be honest with you. This combo, at least, does not feel light. I can feel it on my skin, but that is exactly what I want right now. Exactly what I want with my skin doing the peely thing it was doing during the day. Mm, not my favorite. But my friends, we've come to the end of this video. As always, let me know your thoughts. I know some of you have tried these products. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Again, you do not have to agree with me. You can share what you don't like about these products, even though right now I feel like I have no real major flaws with these. Thank you again so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like and subscribe. Have a wonderful rest of your week, and I will see you all next time.